All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Astro's Playroom. Here we are. What's happening is the game is wanting me to launch Astro, which I just did. All right, so I'm doing 900p 60 frames. This should definitely look a lot smoother than the last time I played this game. All right. <clears throat> First time around, we did the GPU world. We completed the GPU world, but we didn't miss one puzzle piece. What else do we want to do? What do we got here? This is the network speedrun. Why not? Let's do the network speedrun today. Let's see what this is all about. <clears throat> I'm definitely hoping. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, never mind. You know what this is? It's speedrun challenges, which I don't want to do. It's climbing with the monkey or what appears to be flying, which I haven't even done yet. So let's not do that yet. <clears throat> I'll probably, that's like optional challenges for later. Let's look at the real world, the official worlds. Okay, what is this one? Cooling Springs? Alright, let's go to the Cooling Fan Springs. Here we go. Dude, seriously, the controller is crazy. The controller is vibrating so much when I'm playing this game. Right now, it's going a, a hum to simulate the feeling of a fan blowing on you. It's pretty wild. <clears throat> Wow, look at this. We got a slide. Now it's vibrating while I'm on the slide. I took the plunge. You know, I'm pretty sure a robot going in water would not be a good idea. <clears throat> so it looks like we're, we're netted off here, right? Ooh, do. Boom, boom, ba -doom. boom, ba -doom. boom, 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 boom. He's riding a dolphin. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. What's he got? He's got a floaty. Oh my god! That's a PSP disc. For those who never had a PSP, that's what the game disc for PSP looked like. And he's using the PSP disc as a floaty. <laughs> that's funny. <clears throat> what do we got going on here? Save point. Okay. <clears throat> oh god, there's an enemy! Haha! <laughs> I didn't know there would be evil beachgoers. Okay. <clears throat> Timbo Slice is serious. I was not here last night. Did that cord not work? Uh, I hope you're not wireless on the headset. No, the cord doesn't work. The cord splits the audio, but the audio sounds absolutely terrible. It sounds completely low-grade washed out. So I think what it is is because the cord is not powered, it basically re significantly reduces the strength of the signal and it sounds terrible. So I can't do that. <clears throat> By the way, look, it's Kratos. Kratos and Atreus. There's your Easter egg. God of War right there. Cool. What other Easter eggs will we have? <clears throat> All right, I have to change the game on Twitch. Thank you for reminding me because this is something that I'm not used to doing. So I will do that right now. Let me change the game on Twitch to say Astro's Playroom. <clears throat> We're apparently at 857 subs, so we've gone up one sub on the pre-stream. Let me go ahead and update that. Dude, the music in this game is really good. Uh, Spawn Killer took me a dollar said the graphics are incredible. I think it's really nice. The graphics are well done, and the Easter eggs are nice, and the haptic feedback's great, and the music is great. Like, this game is really well designed. <clears throat> okay, we got something to pull here. <laughs> A bird, a nice bird, a toucan. <clears throat> a new artifact. The PlayStation 3 DualShock 3 wireless controller. Can you say six axis fast ten times? Yes. If, for those who don't remember, the six axis was something that was incredibly poorly received, and within like one year, almost no games used it. When the PlayStation 3 launched, they had this new DualShock 3 six axis controller. And what it was was motion, just like this. It was motion control. You would move your controller, and it would control stuff in the game. One of the early games that adopted this was Uncharted. The original Uncharted had a balance mechanic that you'd be on like a balance beam, and you need to use your six-axis controller to balance, but it wasn't accurate. So most people didn't like it, and actually had it as a negative 
saying that the six axis wasn't really precise enough to be used in games that much. So within like one year, almost no games used it and it really never got used that well on the PlayStation 3. Now what's funny is this console generation, many different consoles use it. The uh, Switch Pro controller has a gyroscope inside for that kind of thing. The, the DualSense has it, like all controllers now have it and use it, just not that much. Once again, it's just it's just a motion control gimmick, you know what I mean? It was something that they thought would sell PS3s, it didn't really, people didn't really like it. Nice, this, this uh, the platform is shaped like a controller. Over here we have a puzzle piece hidden. Grab that. Someone's just chilling here. Oh look! Plucking, plucking fl flower petals? He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. Uh, okay. Let's head back. Oh, look what we got over here. A thing just kind of sitting there on the side. All right. What is it? Ah, just some bonus coins. All right. Cool. I don't have the bow and arrow yet, so I can't shoot down that person. We got a crab. A robot crab. It looks like we got... A robot that's like trying to pep up other robots, but I don't think it's an Easter egg reference or anything. I think every Easter egg reference has a cameraman. Like this one here? Oh, dude, is this... I think this is, um... Patapon? Isn't this Patapon? Because that looks like a, the Patapon thing. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be Patapon. So Patapon was a music game for the, play, the PSP. I had it. I played it. I liked Patapon. I think that's what it is. Greens89 um, did a 100-bit cheer and said, what's your favorite game on Switch? On the Switch? Uh, hmm. Hit, it's almost just hit him. Oh, God! It's definitely Patapon. That's exactly what happens in Patapon. You have your little Patapons build up to become a big Patapon. All right. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> What's my favorite game on the Switch? I would say Super Mario Odyssey is my favorite Switch game so far. Okay. Let's keep looking around. Oh, you get a coin out of the crab. You just gotta beat the shit out of it. Oh, there's some coins over here I didn't grab yet. Oh, look, he's sitting here. What's he doing? Just relaxing. He's on break. He's overheating. That's the God of War Easter egg. Okay. Oops. Oh, so much for the beach ball. A nice chilling robot. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Anything here? No. Unless can I jump on top? Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. A hidden puzzle piece. Cool. You think I can, like... No, you can't stand on those. Darn. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I'm mixing up Patapon and Loco Roco. That was a reference to Loco Roco, it was? Oh, I thought that was Patapon. I guess I'm wrong. Aha! Uh -huh. Something to throw. Okay. There's, there's many things to throw this at. There's the guy over here. Yep. Oh, now, now he's in the water. He's drowning. Save it. Oh, he's coming to shore. Oh, cool. Come to shore, young robot. Don't drown. He's, he's stuck. I think he's stuck. Oh, shit. Oh, well. <laughs> Rob, just to me $10. He said, bunger, 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 bunger. Thank you, Rob, for a $10 tip. I appreciate that. It's good to see you here today. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. The water graphics, I agree. The water graphics are very good. Look at that. Super duper shiny. This is basically a tech demo of the PS5, and I like it. Hey, look, it's a tech demo you don't have to pay for, right? Unlike Rise, Son of Rome, or Godfall, this one's free. I hate that guy. He killed me in the other stage, too. Crash Bandicoot were just so how are the adaptive triggers? Let us know. In this game, I don't really think they're used that much. Um, 
the game that uses them a ton is Call of Duty. And we're, we're, every time you pull the trigger to shoot your gun, it actually has resistance to it. When you, we're here, there's nothing, see? Nothing. In Call of Duty, there's added resistance to the trigger pulls. So it feels very, very interesting. It's unique. I've never played a game where I've had adaptive triggers like that before. Oh, shit. Alright, I killed him. Oops. I gotta throw this at other things. Like, every tree has something to throw it at, right? No, not this one. This one does. There's more stuff over there. There you go. What do we got here? Some enemies? Whoa! Oh, I can pull his head! Pulled his head and killed him. Alright. Hmm. Alright, what's this? A new artifact. Here we go. This is the PlayStation Eye camera. So this was the PSI for PlayStation 3. I remember because I had it. Um, they later on updated this to make one for PS4 that looked very different. It looked like that bar instead of just the camera, but I had this. <clears throat> Conversalist Judy said this resembles Mario Odyssey to me, don't you think? This is the beach level with the octopusy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would say, yeah. There's a lot of a lot of similarities between this and, like, a, Mar a Mario platformer. Yes. Connor X Crash Cheer, he said, remember the dinosaur from the PlayStation Tech demo in 1994? He makes a few surprise appearances throughout the game. Yeah, didn't we see him already? The T-Rex, right? Uh, he was he was already in the, the intro stage to this or the, the GPU stage. I think we saw him in the wall in the, on a little island thing. Got him Okay, let's keep going here. There's more out there in the water see that I wonder if that's uh probably something hidden over here Considering I see a bunch of PlayStation symbols. There's probably something hidden out here You guys are just chilling in the water Oh, we got another Easter egg. What's this one? This is someone painting with a brush, and it's creating symbols? I don't know who this is. I'll be honest, I don't know this one. If anyone gets that reference, be sure to let me know. I don't get. I don't know this reference. <laughs> anyone know? F Fantavision? What? Is that really a game? Concrete Genie? Concrete Genie people are telling me it is. Concrete Genie. I don't know what the hell that game is. So some people are saying Fantavision and some people are saying Concrete Genie. I, I don't know either game, so... Alright. Oh, look at this. There's actually little guys hidden in the box over here. They're dancing. Ha ha ha! They're dancing! I want to dance too. How can I dance? Hold on. Can I dance? They won't let me dance. There's no way to dance. Oh, wait, here we go. I pressed left and I'm dancing. We're having a dance party out here. Look at that. Oh, disco. Oh, disco. Disco. Oh, 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 He's doing the floss. Do the floss. Alrighty then. Well, I didn't get anything for that, but that was kind of neat. A robot dance party. Okay. Alright, well, I think we've done everything now. So now the question is, where do we go? And there's a little arrow here. Okay. Looks like we gotta fight our way through the, uh, wind. And right now I'm feeling haptic feedback massively with this wind. It's definitely shaking the shit out of my controller. Aha! We're going inside. Okay. Very nice. Um, Conversalist just cheers to Dooley Dreads that someone mentioned on Twitter. My TV doesn't support 120 frames per second. I should change my performance mode that I use for all the games. See, correct. No, the only game he's correct for is Call of Duty. Because for what I understand, even at the like the better performance mode, like 4K, Call of Duty runs at 60 frames. So for Call of Duty, if I change it to the 4K ultra, ultra graphics mode, we should get better quality visuals, but it should still run at 4K. Every other game to get 4K... You actually need to have it on performance mode. So. so when I play Call of Duty again, I'll try that. 
Alright, well, we got a bunch more stuff around here. Here's the rubber ducks. <laughs> rubber duckies. Oh, yeah. Rubber duckies. Let's take a look around. Let's see what we can find here. What is this? Oh, it's a bunch of symbol floaties. Yeah. Well, I can't climb the ladders, but I can't climb the diving boards. Oh, shit. Okay. Whoa. I missed the big coin. Son of a bitch. Oh, Hell Diver. I just got a trophy for doing that. Nice. All right, cool. So that was a hidden trophy. No Kaiser painting. I never actually got a chance to try the jalapeno chicken sandwich from Wendy's. I probably never will, sadly. <clears throat> Give me your coins. Oh, here we go. What am I looking at? Is that Fat Princess? I believe this is a reference to Fat Princess. A character from the PS3 era who actually made it into the PlayStation All-Stars fighting game for PlayStation 4. Um, and then no one cared about it. <laughs> yeah, that's Fat Princess. Anything else over here before we move on? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think that's it for this room. Okay. Here we go. Cooling Springs Springy Spa? Okay. So what will this be? Another shoot? Oh, I'm a, I think I'm a frog. Wait, what? Wait, what? What the hell? Alright, this is weird. Look at that! Hidden stuff. Alright, so what you do is you hold the trigger, you release, and then you spring, and you use the motion control to control your jump trajectory. I see. A springy frog! A froggy frog, everybody! Spring to the frog, and the frog does the spring, and he spring around, all around the town, spring, spring, spring. Oh, shit! Now they want me to push that trigger, and I do the big jumps. Oh, yes. Do the spring, do the spring of the froggy frog. Oh, oh, I see a puzzle piece to the left. I gotta get that puzzle piece. Hold on. Oh, oh, come on. Shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie. It's very hard to control where you land. Got it. Cool. Okay. Do the spring, do the spring of the Froggy Frog Spring. Wah! It says to go that way, so I'm going to go the other way. There we go. Another hidden puzzle piece. I got to sneeze. Uh-oh. I got to sneeze, guys. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, I stopped it. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to sneeze, and I stopped it. Cool. Do the froggy frog spring the spring of the froggy frog. He loves to spring the frog. He says frog, 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 frog. Spring the spring. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. Ah! Oh. Okay. Ooh, yes. And ha ha! And some more. What is this? Diamond box? What is that? Oh my god. Ultimate charge. Fire! New artifact. Okay. This is the PS Move Sharpshooter. This was used during the PS Move era. I remember there was a couple games, if I remember correctly. What, what was that game 
where it was like a ton of players. It was supposed to be the biggest first-person shooter ever, the most players ever in a first-person shooter game. I think this game used that game used this, and then also, I, if I remember correctly, it was used for a game where like a SOCOM spin-off game, Mag. Yeah, I think you could use this with Mag, and I think you could use this for a SOCOM spin-off game. I own this because remember that era. I was covering games for YouTube and I bought every single accessory. So I used this for two games and then it literally sat on my end table in Connecticut and collected dust for about three years and then I finally just fucking threw it out. Haha, <laughs> that's a piece of crap. Oh, that's Killzone 3 marketed this hard and SOCOM 4. That's right, I remember it was one of the SOCOM games. It was terrible. It really was just not good. His move was alright, but. Completely superfluous and really did it add anything? No, it just added a whole new level of gimmick games. Alright, so I need to get up on that platform. Anything over here? No, okay. Okay, I get to this platform. I'm just gonna chill and try to get to the upper left. Dark Vikings are the same as the aim controller. Which uh, was for, he says, uh, I guess VR. But that collected dust too. Oh, is that the end? Oh, I don't want to do that yet. I want to go back. I get the feeling there's something hidden up here. I get the feeling there's something hidden. Like right here. Yup, look. A new artifact, cool. Oh god, this is the, the little version. The PS Move shooting attachment. So there were two shooting attachments for the PS Move. The big gun you just saw, and then there was this little pistol. And this one was used for more like the on-rail shooter games, of which they had a few, not too many. But I actually, John Rambo and I used those for a couple playthroughs. But man, were they all a huge waste of money. Haha, <laughs> seriously. A giant waste of money. All right. Conversalist just cheered and said, you know, I don't know anything about this. I'm asking, does that gun have collector's value? No. All it is is a plastic husk. The PS Move controller would fit inside of it, but the gun itself was just an empty piece of plastic. It's completely valueless. All right, here we go. Nice. The cooling springs frigid flows. Oh, what's this? Metal Gear Solid? I think so. I mean, what other game has someone sneaking around in a box? Yeah, look, it says Solid State. Instead of Solid Snake, the box says Solid State. So that's definitely a Metal Gear Solid reference. There you go. Oh, shit! It is Snake. Look! <laughs> that's awesome. That is freaking awesome. All right. <laughs> I'm sure Koji Mr. Kojima likes that one. Kojima-san... Shout out to you and your amazing games. I can't wait to play whatever the next one will be. Oh, here's another one. More coin. Here we go. Yeah! Uh-oh. We're going to the real cold area now. <clears throat> Holy crap. Penguins! How cute! Penguins. Oh, I smacked the penguin in the face. Punch the penguin for coins, of course. That's what you do when you see a penguin in real life. You beat him up till it drops all its money. That's what I do to penguins in real life. I don't know about you guys. A nice igloo. Oh, this guy's buried in the snow. Ah, here's a puzzle piece. Oh, listen to the jingle. Jingle bells. In the music, they added jingle bells. That's cool. Crash Bandit Cooper, shut the fuck up. All right. La 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 la. And I'm going to spoil my fun. No, you're not. No, you're not. You can suck my butt. Okay, here we go. More coins. Cool. And now the big one in the middle, an artifact probably. Indeed it is. Oh God, the PS Move navigation controller. 
This is even worse than the PS Move controller. Why? It's blatantly a ripoff of just a regular thumbstick from a regular controller. This controller did not need to exist at all. They just wanted to make money on an accessory. And only, I'd say out of all the PS Move games I use, I'm not even kidding you, probably like two to three of them use this. Out of all of them, all, all the rest only needed the regular controller. So this controller you spent like 40, 50 bucks on, you use it three times ever. You fucking waste the time, waste the money. What's sad is PSVR doesn't even use that controller. So even those who bought the PS Move years ago for the gimmick of use, and then it was outdated and never used again, and then, oh, I got PSVR, I can use it again, right? No, you can't use that controller. That controller was always worthless. <laughs> oh, wow, I jumped and spun. Yeah, I'm, look, I'm skating. Oh, this is cool. Ice skating. Oh, wait a minute, I missed something. What did I miss over here? Uh, what is this? There's someone standing there with an axe. There's someone with a hat. Someone with a lantern. I don't know what this is. Oh, you can break those icebergs. And there's a butterfly. Look, there's a butterfly. What is this? What? People are saying it's until dawn? How the hell is this until dawn? <clears throat> one person has a flashlight, one person's wearing a hat, one person has a pair of glasses. Until dawn! What? Look at the hat. What about the hat? It's purple, big deal. <laughs> I don't know. I get people are saying it's until dawn, but I don't know. People are saying butterfly effect? Oh god, you freeze in the water. I didn't know that. Someone said... Hold down square and jump three, three times while skating. I did. Nothing's happening. Look. Maybe I gotta do it three times here. There you go. Twisting metal. Ah! Oh, I got a twisting metal Easter egg trophy and then I die. <clears throat> I, so people are saying the reason you're supposed to know that's until dawn is because that hat is the hat that was on one of the sisters remember there were twin sisters or whatever and one of them turned into a yet one of the yeti and the way you know that it's hers because of the hat all right i guess so <laughs> i guess so but i mean that's kind of weak i think i wish that the until dawn reference was better like i wish one of the yetis was actually there Frog Detective, no, I did not play this more than anyone else that got a PS4. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Where do I grab the thing to throw? Here it is. Okay. I want to grab one and see if there's something to throw it at later. Like over here. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. These two are fishing. <laughs> One of them's got popcorn. Oh, he's making a nice snowman. Look at that. Would you like to build a snowman? What do we got over here? I think that's going to launch me to the next part of the stage, actually. Hmm. Oh, look at him! He's like, oh, my snowman! Is there another opportunity to make a giant ball? I think so. This is the second time you can make a giant ball. Oh, look, he was stuck. Those robots were stuck in the snow. Another artifact. 
Bot charted. It's supposed to be uncharted. She's a Blu-ray game disc. PS3, Blu-ray game disc. Bot charted. Huh. Crash Bandicoot Cooper apologized. I accept your apology. Actual brother resell for six months, and I'm enjoying your PS5 coverage. Keep up the good work. Thank you, actual brother. Crash Bandicoot Cooper said, not a Yeti, it's a Wendigo. That's right, it was called the Wendigo, not the Yeti. I got it confused. All right. All right, let's go over here. Oh, it launched me back and gave me a bunch of coins. Okay. Nice. Okay. Whoa, here we go. I'm going to dodge him. Yoink. Don't. Oh, look, they're over there climbing that ice over there. Huh. Anything else? No, I don't see any other references. <clears throat> Alright, checkpoint. What's going on down here? They're fishing again. Oh, what's this? Oh, just a bounce pad up. What are you guys doing fishing? Aha! Look what I found. Hidden puzzle piece. Alright, cool. Nope. Cool. It's all coming down. So every single time that I jump, every single time that I jump, there's vibration in the controller. Nice. Get him! Nice. I didn't miss anything, right? No, looks like I got everything here. Get him! Yeah! Cool. What is that? You see what I see, right? Oh, I got a blow. Oh, look at this! Holy crap, this is crazy. A new one, a new platform. Hello, all you Astrobots, how you doing? Nice. Look at this now. Wow, it's like an aquarium. This is really neat. Really well done game, honestly. Oh, what do we got there? Someone in a shark cage. With the fish swimming around them, maybe that's supposed to be with PSVR. Remember, one of the launch titles was that undersea thing where you're in a shark cage and the sharks come after you. Maybe that's what's supposed to be a reference to. It might be. Yeah, PSVR Worlds. I think that's what it's supposed to be a reference to. What's over here? Oh, what's this now? What the hell? Resident Evil! It's Chris and Jill, and they don't want to go through the door where there's a zombie on the other side. Look, a zombie scientist. Duh, don't drop the virus. Don't drop that T-virus. Oh, look. Oh, that was awesome. The door opens and she closes it. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. All right, so yeah, I think this is PSVR Worlds. I think that's what this is supposed to be a reference to there. Okay. Now we're going to Hotel Hopalot. Oh, we're going to be b bouncing around again as a frog. Oh, frog has a turn. Yes, the froggy frog. Oh, I gotta go left and then right. There we go. Got a puzzle piece. Nice. Robot, robot dolphins in the background. Uh oh, here we go. Nice. Springy, springy. The springy froggy. We like to spring. I love the springy springy the froggy. Oh no! 
No, Froggy, you need to springy. You screwed up. Oh, no. I missed the puzzle piece. Gotta go back. Well, Frog Detective Chewie says shout out to the Quan army and their leader, Sung Quan. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know what the hell he's talking about. But anyway, let's continue with some fun springy gameplay. I like to spring. Sometimes I spring, and then after that, I spring again like this. Yeah, and then sometimes I do spring. Oh no, I screwed up the spring! Oh! I told you, this is tough to control. <laughs> this is definitely tough to control. All right, we try again. Oh my god, I can't land on that. I seriously can't land on it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I did it. Cool. Ah! Nice. What's this now? Holy crap! Oh my god. Another puzzle piece. I can't get in there now. Okay. Cool. Gotta get those coins. Free the beach balls. Free the beach balls. Yes. For some reason there's sand here. I don't know why. More beach balls. Whoa, water jet. Look at this. Ah, oh, crap. Anything secret over here? Yes, I think so. Actually, no. I think I'm supposed to. I think I was supposed to do a secret here on the chandelier. Nice. Or not? No, maybe the other way was the secret. Okay. Oh no! Alright, let's see what's over here then. Oh shit! Oh! Okay. Artifact. <laughs> oh, there it is. So I guess it's supposed to be Loco Roco, but it's Bato Roco. And yes, it's the PSP UMDs. This is what the discs look like on PSP. They were all enclosed in this odd plastic case because they wanted to make it so basically you wouldn't scratch the disc. It was so small. They were afraid people would scratch the discs or drop them because they were tiny. Well, they weren't really tiny. They were about that big, I would say. Pretty small, though, compared to other games, so... All right, very good. Oh, there's a uh, cleanup bot. All right. Oh, shit. Uh, excuse me. All right, now we go this way. All right. This is crazy. What happens if you fall? Do you die? I wonder if there's a secret down there. Right? Am I liking this game? I'm loving this game. I think it's fun. Obi Twin Roll said if you juggle a beach boy baseball five times, you would have got a trophy. Aw. Well, it's too late now. Another secret over here. Oh no! Oh. 
God damn it. There we go. Alright, what do we got? The actual PSP. There you go. Loves being held. I had a PSP. I didn't play much on it. I had the Final Fantasy Crisis Core. And, man, I can't even remember what else I had. I, I just remember Final Fantasy Crisis Core was my favorite game for it. I thought it was very fun outside of that. Oh, you know what? I, I think I had a Final Fantasy Tactics game. I think it was a Tactics game for PSP. And that was really good. Now, how do I get back? Wait a minute. Oh, look. Oh, a drain. All oh, the water drain. Okay. Uh, try this way. Oh, puzzle piece. Very nice. Woohoo! Going up. Nice. Nice. So there's no boss fight. Oh, okay. There was a boss fight in the in the uh, CPU world. I guess there's no boss fight here. Look at this. Is this Sly Cooper? Yeah. Is that Sly Cooper? I think it's supposed to be Sly Cooper. Sneak up in the safe and then we get close. He goes into the safe. Look. He won't come out. Haha. <laughs> it's probably Sly Cooper. Okay. We got some slides here. Oh, here's some more. Okay. By the way, this is what... Look! It's the PS3 menu! This is the PS3 menu. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's pretty wild seeing it in a different game. You know? But that's the PS3 dashboard right there. I still see it whenever I boot up my PS3 to play older games. Oh, that's cool. What is this? Parabola the Rapper? Yeah, Parabola the Rapper. Absolutely. Cool. Alright, what do we got over here? Uh... I don't think there's anything in particular. <clears throat> it's just, just some nice robots enjoying the, uh, the water, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're done. <clears throat> and there's the PlayStation 3. There you go. HD graphics. Silver Trophy. Bum, 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 bum. And such a big fan, Silver Trophy. Does that mean that maybe I did everything in the stage? I didn't miss anything? You love it. City has three. Shake that shit. It was a big, fat, chubby system. It weighed a lot, so don't drop it. Here we go. It's very shiny. That's actually the exact PS3 I have. I don't have the slim model. I have the original PS3 model in my setup right now. Very nice. Very cool. Alexander Ross said, are you going to platinum the game? I don't know. Because I know I'm missing stuff. Apparently, there's hidden Easter egg, uh, like, trophies. So I don't know if I'm going to platinum it or not. So, two stages down. We do the PS4 stage and the PS3 stage. That means we're going to have PS2 and PS1 left. Nocturno999. Subscribe for seven months. Thank you, Nocturno, for the resub. I appreciate that. The PlayStation Labo. Ho, ho, ho. They're hanging, look, they're hanging all the gun attachments from the ceiling. That's cool. They didn't do everything, though. Like, there was a, uh, this orange gun that they used for games like Time Crisis. I forget what it was called. That was for PS3, and they didn't have that. All right, I want to do some more. Gotcha. All right. A new artifact? What is it? Oh, it's the PS3 Slim. Yeah, I never had—I never owned a PS3 Slim. I only had chubby PS3s over the life cycle of the console. I never had the Slim. Cool. The Gun Con. Yes, that's what it was called. The Gun Con. 
we go. Another artifact? Yes! This is... Another PS3? What? What is this one? I don't even know what this is. I've never seen this before. Anyone know what this is? There were three models of PS3? I didn't know that. This is the last slim version? Are you serious? There was another version? I had no idea there was another PS3. What on earth? <laughs> I had no clue. All right. God, look at that. They're posing with the PS3. Okay. A puzzle piece. Cool. Ah, oh, a soda can. Another puzzle piece. Bump, bump. Shout out to Murdoch, who has resubbed at tier 3 for 33 months. Thank you so much, Murdoch, for a tier 3 sub. I appreciate that, man. All right. La, 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 la. By the way, how's the, is the volume good for you guys on the stream? I just want to make sure that the volume is good and it's not too low. Oh, here we go. Getting another artifact. Happy Taco Monday to you too, Kate. Here we go. It is... Oh, the PSP camera. So you had a, a camera attachment, 1.3 megapixels. You would attach to your PSP to take pictures. Look at that. Uh, volume's good. Thank you. Another puzzle. We're getting all kinds of pieces. Another puzzle piece. Even more. Even more puzzle pieces. So many puzzle pieces. Another artifact. What will it be? The PS4? Oh, this is the Pro. PS4 Pro. How pro can you go? This is what I use right now. Well, not right now. I'm using PS5, but this is what I used before. PS4 Pro. Very nice. Alright, last one. For now. Another puzzle piece. Here we go. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Very nice. And lots more puzzle pieces. Nice. La 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 la. La 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 la. Battle Pass Grinder just did 100 bit cheers. So thank you, Phil. I've been a fan since 2011. Here we are at the start of another generation. Yeah, thank you very much, Battle Pass Grinder, for watching me for so long. I appreciate that. And I hope you're enjoying the launch of the new console generation in PS5. So far, it's been pretty cool. All right, so that was a whole stage down. We got two more worlds left. For the finale of the game, so we're about halfway through Astro's Playroom right now. Hope you guys are enjoying it. <clears throat> Let's head back to the main hub. Hello, Equilibrium. How's it going? Okay. Whoa, something new is unlocked. What is that? You're so cool. New speedrun challenges are now available from CPU Plaza. Master the spring to beat this thing. Woo! The music is so good. All right. So we did GPU and we did the cooling fan. The next two. Oh, wait. What's that over there? Oh, there's actually stuff hidden in the plaza? I didn't know that. All right, hold on a second here. Can I run around and hit stuff? Yeah, let's see if there's stuff to throw this at. Oh my god, look at this, a beach ball. I wonder what I do with this. I get the feeling there's hidden stuff here in the plaza I didn't know about. Like, you probably do something with this beach ball. Zebra says there's a hidden jumping puzzle. Ah. I bet you gotta do something with this. Or else why would it be there? Right? You guys dancing. Oh, what's this? Whoa! What the hell is a whole hidden underground area? Oh, this is cool, man. Look, they're looking at it from underneath. It looks like a jellyfish. This is fucking sweet. 
What do we got here? A hidden puzzle piece. Nice. So this is where those symbols are appearing. I see. I didn't know where this was. Yeah, see? Question mark. I guess I gotta beat all the stages to unlock whatever that is. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. The music's so good. So, what else do we got? Here's another thing I can pull. Oh, a chest. That's how I get the bow. Okay, and now I can shoot stuff. The PlayStation Lava, that's where I just came from. What else can I shoot with the bow here? Anything? Okay. Whoa, oh, what world is it? SSD Speedway, so this is gonna be the hard drive, right? SSD Speedway. Oh, I see. You can throw that or you can get the you can get the bow. These are the speedrun challenges over here. Well, I don't know what else to do here for now. Alright? Yeah, I don't know what else to do here for now. Someone said there's a, a, a jump puzzle. Oh, could this be it here? Oh! Okay. Oh, crap. I fell. Well, I can get on top of these, but I don't know if that would actually bring me to anything. See that? Whoa, this keeps going up. Nice. Very nice. I don't see anything hidden down there. Cool. Keep going. Keep going, yeah. Keep going. I love this music. Outstanding. Holy crap. Look how high up I am now. Wow. There's stuff on the other side over there, too. You see it? Is that where we're headed? We are. Oh, my God. We're going across. All right. Here we go. Whee! Crash Bandicoot, but you said maybe towards the end of the year you might give your general thoughts on PS5 as too early to review it. I mean, I give you my thought. I, I'm not going to review the thing, but I definitely give you my thoughts after playing it all weekend. You know, I probably have better thoughts formulated uh, after I play a little more this week. Actually, trying to do, you know, the actual playthroughs instead of just kind of messing with it every day like I've been doing. La 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 la. Jeez, we're going even higher up. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa. 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 Look how high we are. Here's another puzzle piece. Right? Is that it now? I wonder if I got everything. There's a way to tell, isn't there? According to this... I did not find everything. I got... There's something else I didn't do? Wait, this isn't the right thing. This isn't about Motherboard that we're on, is it? No. I did everything there. Yeah, this isn't Mount Motherboard, right? No. Maybe I did get everything. I don't really see anything else around. I think I got everything here. Kate, yes, I am going to eventually play the campaign of Call of Duty Call War. Why wouldn't I? Of course I am. Come on. I guess that's it. I don't really see anything else to do. Just pause the game. I got it all, 404. I got all the secrets in CPU Plaza. In fact, 
right now if you take a look right there's one artifact and a puzzle piece i missed on my motherboard there's one puzzle piece i missed in the gpu jungle but i missed two puzzle pieces in the cooling springs but i did get all the artifacts in that stage okay got it all right i'm good wow oh Oh, he comes up to see you. Oh, look at that. Uh, that was cool. All right. So, that is going to be it for Astro's Playroom for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that session. That was fun. That was really fun. That was only the second world. So, a really well-made game. I'm having a lot of fun with that. I hope you guys are liking the playthrough, too. Until next time.